That's what this car actually was. Came off the line, at least the chassis did, came off the line to be built into a 289 Cobra Roadster. But around 1963, uh, the fastest cars made were GT cars, closed cars. And that's because the aerodynamics of the closed body just favored a better wind resistance, a wind, wind slave over. And as you know, the, the Cobra Roadster that we all know and love has the aerodynamics of a brick. I mean, that thing has got nothing to it. So a genius named uh, Pete Brock decided that, uh, on the instructions of uh, Carroll Shelby, was to make a coupe body because by that time, we, they all knew that the coupe bodies were better. You remember Ferrari, which was leading the world in, in racing, and was uh, both uh, envy, the envy and the nemesis of uh, Carroll Shelby, were now doing better with the GTO, which was a closed car, then in 1958, 1661, when they won the Mons with an open car, like you see out there, by 63, 64, they were running closed cars, uh, so-called GT cars, because they were just faster, the aerodynamics were faster. And so here the beauty is, good looking, there, there's, a, there's an old, old corny old statement that says, if it looks good, it's going to be faster in terms of car design. But that's certainly true in this case. This is a hell of a lot better good looking than a Cobra Roadster. And the beauty of it are the things that make it really special. The roof line, there have been pages written about this particular roof line. The way the air goes across the back. The spoiler, if you're into spoilers, is beautiful. It keeps the car down and does, it, does this thing work? When they tried to go fast at Bonneville without this, without the spoiler on it, the car was moving all over the place. When it got to be around 150, 160, um, and the car really lost control. They, they had taken the spoiler off, they put it back on, and then they were able to get up to 180 uh, without any difficulty. By the way, the top speed of a Roadster is one, uh, was 160. The top speed of this car, which is a Roadster with a heavier body on it, is 180. And that's all because of the streamlining. So, all I really want to say about this car in terms of styling is it's, to me, a beautiful car. The curves, the genius of Pete Brock is, is in every line. The fact that he was one of the originators of the cam rear and we could go into uh, what this flat back means to the air currents that swerve around it. But you yeah, just have to look at it. And stylistically, the people who voted on it for style are correct, even though, unlike what we normally think of style, that is, style is to make the car look prettier and sell it. In this case, the style resulted from a desire to go fast. So I congratulate the guys who voted this in on the basis of style. That gives it an extra leg up, besides all the records that it set and the fact that it won. Uh,